Hey guys, hope you're well. This is Imran from Imstech, and today we're going to be talking about if statements. Now, what are if statements? An if statement has two parts. It has the action and it has a condition. The condition comes before the action. So, okay, the way I explain it to some of my pupils is that if the headmaster comes into the classroom or the head teacher comes into the classroom, all pupils must stand up. So, in this scenario, the headmaster walking in it's the condition and the pupil standing up is the action so let's look at it in an if statement so what I'm gonna do is just to type it out in work document just to show you guys how it works so I'm gonna type in equals and I'm gonna give put the name of the function which is the if function open and close my brackets that's standard now inside there at the start the first part of the if statement is the condition and the way we separate different sections within the if statement is by using this symbol the comma and after that you put the action in okay so if the condition comes out to be true then we have an action and we have to define what the condition is and what the action is going to be also what if the condition is not true what if the condition comes out to be false well this could be a fine at this moment this one particular if statement but we could also write the if statement like this and this is in programming terms sort of like an if else statement so this is an action two so if the condition comes out to be false meaning in our example if the teach if the head teacher does not come into the classroom then everybody remain seated so our second action could be remain seated so okay let's get straight to business I guess so over here I've got a list of all the salesmen I've got salesman A all the way down to salesman J and I have got their sales figures this could be the annual sales figures so you can see that this person has done 89,000 pounds or in America it'd be dollars I guess so you can see their sales figures in the next column now the bonus is what we're going to be working out using our if statement now the condition for whether whether or not they get a bonus or not is going to be over here the bonus is 12 percent so they get 12 percent but they only get the 12 percent if they hit a minimum of a hundred thousand pounds or, or actually above a hundred thousand pounds so okay so we can see straight away by looking at it some of these people they're not gonna get their bonus but others will now we want to use the if statement to actually calculate their bonus in one quick motion because we can imagine you might have hundreds and thousands of salesmen working for you depending on different businesses so okay let's get straight to it the first thing we need to do is put an equal sign and then we need to write the name of the function so we are using the if statement or the if function and we need to open our brackets now the logical test which is written right there or our condition is going to be whether or not the salesman reached his target of a hundred thousand or he exceeded his target so what we're going to do is click on the salesman's sales figure which is cell B6 but I'm just going to click and let Excel or whichever spreadsheet we use do the work for us and put a more than sign is so if his sales figures are more than the minimum amount that we require which is in B2 so I'm going to click on this hundred thousand right here and if that is the case then we want something to happen now what we can do is we can use Excel to actually calculate the sales figure which is the 12 percent that he bonus he'll get or we can actually just because it's our first goal put some text inside to check whether or not our condition is true or not what I'm going to do is put in some text the way we add text or a string is by using the speech mark yeah so I'm going to put in bonus meaning he gets his bonus and then close my speech marks now the second part split by the comma and what I'm going to do is type in no bonus finish off my comma and close my brackets and hit the enter key so we can see it's calculated for us that there is no bonus now we could there's a, a quick method of actually rather than typing out one by one there's a quick method of actually getting Excel or the, our spreadsheet program to do the work for us once we've typed our, our um, 
formula in once but I just want to show you guys one thing really quickly B6 is the salesman salesman's figures and it is one cell to the left okay now B2 which is the second one is more than B2 this hundred thousand is one cell to the left and one two three four five cells above so one to the left and five cells above now I want you to remember that because what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on this corner right here where, where until I can see an X and I'm gonna click and drag down and I'm just gonna drag down once and actually I'll do it a couple of times now you can see something's happened but if I go inside and I look inside you can see that it selected B B3 rather than the hundred thousand that I needed so it's accurately gone one across for this first part but for the B3 it's gone one across and one two three four five above but for this one we needed it to go six above so how can we get our so we can see it again so this time it's gone two below the hundred thousand and it's gone this time three below the hundred thousand so what I want it to do is for the first one B6 and B7, B8. What I want it to do is stay as it is, so that format printing method that we just used by clicking and dragging on the corner where we saw the X mark is working. But what I wanted it to do for the second thing is actually stick to the 100,000. So for that, we could use absolute cell referencing, but I'm not going to worry with about absolute cell referencing at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this cell a name. So I'm going to click on 100,000 and I'm just going to click in this corner right here. So if you can see, and on this name box, I'm just going to type in min amount. Okay, so min amount. I'm just going to press hit the enter key and you can see now this cell B2 is, is going, to, going to be referred as B2 but it will also be referred to as min amount so I'm going to alter my formula and I'm just going to type in min amount and we can see it's right here min amount and I'm going to hit the enter key now I'm going to try and dragging all the way down I'm going to hit the end I'm going to let go of this now you can see it's calculated our bonuses in the proper manner so we can see by naming a cell it uses the same pattern so B6 is one across that's fine and also B7 is one across so that is how we've used the intelligence of the spreadsheet to actually give us the result that we wanted so we typed in the if statement once and we got the results for us so we can see some people have bonuses some people don't have bonuses and it's done in the proper method using the if statement okay now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write give this 12% a name as well and I'm just gonna name that bonus and what I'm going to do is what I'm going to do is go inside and rather than writing whether they've got a bonus or no bonus I'm gonna leave the no bonus as no bonus but if they've got a bonus I actually wanna do a bit of a calculation what I want to do is I want so I'm just gonna go inside I'm gonna delete that I want to work out 12% of what they have got so the way we work out percentage is you get the amount which is is located in B6 so I've clicked on B6 I'm going to divide that by a hundred and I am going to multiply which is the asterisk sign I'm going to multiply that by per which was the name I can't actually remember what I called it but let's just type in per at the moment and hit the enter key and I'm just gonna go inside the end right in here per and hit the enter key so okay so yep yeah, that's gone to pink so now I know that that name actually registered maybe it didn't register the first time so I've called it per and or I could have no I actually called it bonus didn't I so okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag all the way down so we can see those people with no bonuses they've got no bonuses but those people with a bonus their percentage has been calculated for us so we can see this person's got a bonus of 179 sorry 174 and so on so we can see that is 12 percent of the um, amount okay so I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial 
and I hope you guys have learned something make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so let me show you guys really quickly if you hit the subscribe button which is located on top it's absolutely free to subscribe and I make about at least uh, one or two videos a week and just give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and if you learned something so make sure you comment rate and subscribe so take care peace